Hello and welcome to another weekly oracle reading with Lisa. That's me. Ooh. I'd like to say hello and welcome to you. Today's week or this week's weekly weekly oracle reading will be from July the 15th through July the 22nd. And since it is a new moon on the 17th, which is Monday, I will be doing the Moonology reading from Yasmin Golden. Yasmin Golden. The Moonology deck. Now. These are boot, as some people call them, bootlegging decks. I call them generic decks. Because I'm a generic person. No, I'm an individual. I am the power inside these decks. My spirit guides are the powers inside these decks. And I have gotten a very close connection with these decks. I've been reading with them for three months now, three, four months now. And I know that doesn't seem very long, but what I like to start to do is I will knock three times to clean them. One, two, three. I will run them through my dragon's blood incense and my cranberry candle, which smells absolutely divine. I have my jar of dirt. I have my crystal, my amethyst crystal. I have my tiger's eye. I have this awesome, awesome piece of glass. says it's a crystal, but I'm sure it's not. But it's beautiful. I have my Believe and my Courage. And of course, like I said, I have my Tiger's Eye. So let's begin. Um, this is the week for July the 15th through the 22nd. Start out. I've got my feet planted firmly on the ground and I am grounded. Guardian angel, spirit protector who protects me and watches over me, please guide me. Put me on the right path and tell me the answers in which I seek today. Protect those, all who are listening and viewing, and give them the answers that they seek in these deck of cards that I may be reading. I will knock four more times to let them inside the door. One, two, three, four. Now the singing bowl, I've explained in other videos, it is like the doorbell to allow them to come in. I open the door for them to come into my deck and they are going to give us the answers that we are asking for the week of July the 15th through the 22nd. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope we had a blessed week last week, and I hope you shared some kindness with others, because we definitely need it, and shine your beacon of light for those that may be in the dark, because we have troubles. But we need those flashes of light to share, so we can shine them on others, so they can have light their path up. Show us whichever way we need to go. First card is bring love into the situation. And it's in the new moon, which the new moon is on the 17th of this month, Monday, in Aquarius. Aquarius, for us older folks who know that song. <laughs> new moon in Aquarius. Now, bring love into the situation. Now, love doesn't have to be sexual. Doesn't have to be um, romantic. Love is any kind of love. It could be uh, family love, like your, for your children, or your pet, or, or your fur baby, I'm sorry. Or um, love of friendship, love 
for anything. So bring love into it. The second card is confidence is your key to success. And it's in the new moon in Leo. These are weird that these are all coming up the new moon, which is, like I said, Monday. Confidence in your success. So you're going to be successful in whatever you're going to be doing. Your commitment is being tested. Uh -oh. First quarter moon. Now, it doesn't mean, once again, it doesn't mean that it's a, a commitment to a companion. You know, commitment means something you're committed to, that you're obli not obligated to, but you have put your commitment to um, doing some kind of task or something. That's what I'm getting. I'm not thinking that it's being coming infidelity or um, having an affair or anything like that, your commitment in your relationships. I'm thinking it has something to do with, um, are you really committed to do this? No. Are you obligated to do this? No. So, it's always your choice. Free will, free will, free will. Your commitment to doing something like getting up and exercising every day. Oh, hell no. I don't do that. You know, I try to do my my things for my health issues and um, my physical therapies and stuff like that. And uh, there are just some days I just have to lay in bed because I'm in so much pain. And I do have, I'm on two pillow today. And if anybody knows me, what I mean about pillows is I have to have pillows behind my back because my I'm in chronic pain and that softens whatever I'm in, you know, it softens the pressure on my back. Um, it says, be bold and make the first move, and that's the cardinal move. Be bold and make the first move. Now, um, don't wait for people to make the move. You go out and do it. You go out, girl and, or person. You go out, person, and you go out and you do it. You start the first move. You make that first move. If it's a, uh, I'm trying to think. If it's wanting to get a job, go for it. Get a higher pay or raise. Ask for it. You make that first move. Don't wait for your boss to, to give it to you. Don't wait for this and that. Don't be um, aggressive about it, but you make that first move towards whatever you want them to the outcome to come and walk through your fears now if you're scared of something take a step back and look at how your path is leading you through it you know how can you overcome your fears now overcoming your fears is a lot i mean that's a lot of shadow work and what i would call the shadow work is things that you may regret in your past or you have fears in your past and you have to stand up to them and say you don't scare me anymore you don't scare me anymore I'm a strong and independent person I can handle this and some of them are harder than others but believe me sometimes you can get through it faster than you think and some of us take years before we we can overcome it but got to overcome your fear of something because if you let it hold on to you it'll grip you for the rest of your life you know I mean you'll be scared I am terrified of birds but I can still go out now and feed them and I can um, look at them through the windows <laughs> and watch my movies and I don't freak out as much as I did before um, Anytime I heard a bird, like a bird got stuck in my uh, screened in porch one time and I just absolutely freaked out. I had to uh, ask somebody to come and help me get out of my house because I was scared of death of this bird. And now I can go out and let the, the bird outside by talking to it. I know that's weird. Just stay in your corner and leave me alone, little birdie. I will open the door and you can go fly back out. Don't know how it got in there, but 
somehow it got in there. So that is me overcoming some of my fears. It could be, uh, for you it could be insecurity or a fear of being alone. Now, I had a terrible fear of being alone when my son moved away, um, my husband passed away, and I was never been alone in my entire life. And I had a horrible fear of being alone. And clear up till last year, I was alone. Or two years ago, I was uh, living with someone. My son was here with me, and I always had him, you know. But um, two years ago, he moved out again, and um, this gentleman that I was seeing had left a long time ago, so this was, this was the first time I ever lived by myself. Um, ever in my entire life so I was scared to death but I overcame it and I enjoy it now I love it one two five two more um, step out of your comfort zone now this goes exactly with overcoming your fears working through your fears step out of your comfort zone if you're scared like I said I was terrified of walking out on my porch because I was terrified of that little bird scared it was going to peck my eyeballs out and their little spindly feet or claws digging at my face. <laughs> Thank you Alfred Hitchcock for that wonderful movie called The Birds which scared probably um, thousands and thousands and thousands of people into being terrified of birds. Oop. Or either that or I was taken by a pterodactyl in the past lifetime because and ripped apart because it's a uh, pretty terrifying <laughs> I'm terrified still of I'm not as scared like I said I have overcome it a little bit and it does take time to overcome nature fears will be as one two three four five six this is your last card and it is adjustments are required in the third quarter moon so, adjustments are acquired. So, like I said, adjust the way you're thinking to overcome your fears. So your first card was bring love into the situation. Caring, I'm assuming, would be love. Confidence is your key to success. Be confident in yourself. Your commitment is being tested. Now, are you really committed to this, this thing that you're doing? That this task that you want done? Be bold and make the first move. So start at it. Be bold, but are you willing to see it go all the way through? that's what your commitment is um, work through your fears if you're scared of the outcome work through it say what's the worst thing that could happen and then say is it really going to affect me as much um, will it you know is it really going to be that horrible if things don't turn out the way they, they you want them to Step out of your comfort zone. Now, if you're comfortable sitting on your couch, um, step out of your comfort zone. Are you scared to do something? That's what the, the last card was. You're scared of doing something. Step out of your comfort zone. You feel safe and secure in your home. Go out and about and do something. Now, I was agoraphobic for a long time, and um, it took me a lot just to go to Wally World, Walmart and um, on myself, and I had to step out to recover and regain my life back, um, my independence back in my life. So, and adjustments are required. You know, you have to adjust sometimes, you know, to your pathway. Maybe you have to go around a big giant boulder that's blocking your way, or um, a person that's blocking your path because you have a path and it's not always straight. There are bumps and there are curves and there are um, forks in the road where you have to venture off in a different direction. 
um, that you have to, but it's still your path. And that's what the adjustments are, you know, in your life. You have to adjust for your environment sometimes, like putting on an extra layer of clothing when it's cold out, or wearing a tank top when it's 100 degrees out because it's so hot that you can't breathe. That is adjustments. So this is for the week of July the 15th through July the 22nd. The new moon is on the 17th, Monday. So please prepare your manifestations and things like that that you want to manifest throughout. And um, I know there's something else I want to tell you that my guides are telling me right now. Conclusions are within your reach. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within your reach. So your goals are within your reach. You know, your answers are within your reach and your your destiny. Like I said, our paths are never straight and narrow. If they were, we'd be able to just zoom right through in life without no hiccups, no curves, no... Um, bumps in the road so please share some kindness with others and shine your beacon of light um, because there are so many out there in the dark that need it and with that path of our life there are like street lights all the way through our path that lights up our journey through life and you are one of those streetlights for somebody else. So please shine your light. <laughs>